How do you communicate your mission and purpose? Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. In a previous video, we talked about why we should communicate our mission and purpose. How that is more important than just telling people, oh, we're going to make a lot of money. Mission and purpose is the reason for your company to exist. It's not the money. Yes, making money is important, all right? Every company has to make money because without money, the company dies. There's no company left. You got to make money. But money is not the reason for the company to exist. You got to be able to serve a community society need, right? You got to provide a solution to a problem. You got to exist for a purpose. And that mission and purpose is important because when you know your mission and purpose, you know how to communicate with your customer. They know what problem you solve. When you hire people, you communicate your mission and purpose so they know why your company is here. And if they believe in that mission and purpose, they are going to work hard for you. I do not believe that the best way to motivate people is to tell people, well, we're going to make a lot of money because most people don't care about that because they can do that anywhere. Why this company? It has to be something greater than just making money. And uh, also, most people don't really want that much money. Most people don't really care about money. I do so much sales training in Vietnam, I know. I ask people, how much money you want? Five million dong a month, enough, right? And they argue with me, yeah, that's enough. You know, I don't need more, right? If you just communicate money is the reason for the company to exist, then it's gonna be a shitty company and a shitty team. And I don't want leaders like that. Seriously, I'm not fucking kidding. Now, get back to the point. So. Mission purpose, very important. How do you communicate that to the team? Let me give you a simple tip, right? Let me give you a simple way to communicate mission and purpose to your employees. I like the way, uh, you know, the internet Jesus, the Japanese guy, I made a video about him. And I like the way how he does it, right? He said, he want to put all Japanese people on the internet within the next 25 or 35 years. Okay, that's their mission. How about Bill Gates? Bill Gates, what's his mission? To put a computer in every home and every business. All right, what's Steve Jobs' mission? Steve Jobs' mission is to build great products that people can use and create. All right, what about Elon Musk's mission? He wants to save the world. He wants to stop people from using oil. That's why he has Tesla. He wants to send humanity into space. Big vision stuff. In the next 100 years, the best entrepreneurs in the world, they communicate mission and vision by telling people what they are going to do 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. That's how they do this. They don't say what they do now. They certainly don't say, we're going to make a lot of money. We're going to make a lot of money. No. Have you ever heard Bill Gates say that? Have you ever heard Jack Ma on TV say, we're going to make a lot of money. No. No. All right. So all those people, they communicate long time into the future. Jack Ma wants to build something in the next hundred years. He already planned out the next hundred years. He tell you a hundred years, where is Alibaba? Elon Musk, he tells you within two lifetimes, humans will be on Mars. That's a great, great mission and vision and purpose, right? Bill Gates want to put computers on every desk in school, in home, in business that has already happened. And now they have to find out a new mission because they already accomplished that mission. So if you're a CEO, a managing director, a leader, how do you communicate? Mission and vision, think about the future, where you want to be and tell your employees, tell your customers, tell your partners, tell everyone where you want to take them 10 years, 20 years, 50 years from now. And that's how you communicate 
mission, and vision. Some people will not believe you. Some people will think you're delusional. Fuck them. It's okay. The people that believe you, the people that will follow you, will be your most loyal customers. They will be your most loyal employees. And that's how you build a fucking business. Take some fucking action and don't be a fucktard.